Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we will be seeing about anatomy of lymphatic system. Okay, so before that I have added a playlist for all the anatomy systems. So whenever you get time or if you are preparing for a medical coding interview, you can go through that uh, playlist to study about all the anatomy system. I have given a clear notes for that. And whenever you are uh, preparing for anatomy systems, always relate it with the diagram and part so that if you forget also, you can um, get some points to answer. Like you can relate those diagram and you can gather those points uh, while answering for the questions. So um, let's enter into the video about uh, lymphatic system. Okay, so we'll start with the functions of lymphatic system. The main functions are managing the fluid levels in the body, reacting to bacteria, dealing with cancer cells, dealing with cell products that otherwise would result in disease or disorders, absorbing some of the fats in our diet from the intestine. So there are totally five functions which I have given here. You can add up uh, more functions also. Like you can Google and see for the function. So whenever you are starting with the system, you have to always start with the functions of the system so that it will be easy for you to carry forward and uh, easily relate to other points also. So I have cut shorted the points and I have uh, taken only the easy points so that it will be easy for you to remember. So next after completing the functions you have to say about the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system is a group of organs, vessels and tissues that protects you from infection and keep a healthy balance of fluid throughout the body. Lymphatic system or organs include bone marrow, thymus and lymph nodes. As a vital part of immune system, lymphatic system protects from infection and destroys old or abnormal cells body doesn't need. Lymphatic system function also include maintaining normal fluid level in the body and absorbing fat and fat soluble vitamins so they can make their own way into the bloodstream so this is a definition which you can start giving after explaining about the functions so next is what are lymphatic system organs okay the first organ is bone marrow so in this bone marrow this is a soft spongy tissue in the center of the certain bones like your hip bone backbone breast bone Bone marrow has the vital job of making white blood cells, red blood cells and platelets. So this is one of the organ of the lymphatic system. So you can uh, like after function you have to say the definition for the lymphatic system and then you have to continue uh, with the organs. The first organ which I have added up here is bone marrow and I have given a small definitions for uh, bone marrow which you can understand so the next organ is thymus thymus is located in the upper chest beneath the breastbone and it is most active before the puberty it's where t cells um, oh, that is a type of white blood cell fully mature this is all about what you can say about the thymus uh, and here i have given the thymus gland image also so you can go through it so the next organ uh, which i have added in the list is please make a note okay don't like uh, simply listen and leave it may write a note and keep so that it will be really helpful for you at the time of interviews so the next organ which I have added here is lymph node. Lymph nodes are bean shaped gland that monitor and cleanse lymph as it filters throughout them. They clear out damaged cells and cancer cells. Lymph nodes also store lymphocytes and other immune system cells that attack and destroy harmful substances like bacteria. You have about 600 lymph nodes scattered throughout the body. You may be able to feel some lymph nodes throughout the skin in areas like your armpits, groin or neck. Others are deeper inside the body. So this is all about what you can say about the lymph nodes. Here I have given the image also. You can see it. 
Next comes the spleen. The spleen is the largest lymphatic organ located on the left side under the ribs and above the stomach. Spleen filters blood and removes cells that are old or not working properly. It also keeps red blood cells and platelets available in case body need them. So this is all about spleen what you can explain. So make a note of all the points what I have given and, and after completing uh, the complete notes read it once and see like whether any point should be added or whether any point should be removed and just read it once or twice and uh, see whether you are understanding it or whether it is comfortable for you. And next comes the mucosa associated lymphoid tissue that is malt. This mucous membrane exists throughout the body in many important locations. For example, it lines your tonsil, airway, small intestine and appendix. Malt looks for and destroy germs that could harm you. So this is all about the lymphatic organs. Okay. So as I said, write all the notes in your notebook and read it two times or three times and see whether it is helpful for you or you are understanding it and make use of these notes while preparing for your interview. And lymph. Lymph is also called as lymphatic fluid. It is a collection of extra fluid that drains from the cells and tissues in your body and is not reabsorbed into the capillaries. Lymph contains many different substances including proteins, minerals, fat, damaged cells, cancer cells and germs. Lymph also transport infection fighting white blood cells that is lymphocytes. So write a note of everything and read it two, three times and it's not like you have to buy heart all the points. Okay, that is you should understand that's it. Next is lymphatic vessels. Lymphatic vessels are tubes that form a complex network throughout your body. The smallest tubes are lymphatic capillaries which ultimately connect to the large tubes that lead to two main ducts in your upper chest. The pulsing of nearby arteries and squeezing of nearby muscles help fluid move through your lymphatic vessels. These vessels contain one-way valves that keep lymph moving the right way. So for lymphatic vessel also I have given an image so that you can understand like how it is moving, what is the purpose of this. Read the point two or three times to understand it very clearly. So next is collecting duct. Collecting duct is two main ducts is in the upper chest emptying lymph into your subclavian veins. There are these are your right lymphatic duct and thoracic duct. These ducts are like highway on ramps or merging points where lymph rejoins your bloodstream. So these all uh, falls under the parts of lymphatic uh, system. So we have to start with the function. You have to say about the definition. Then you have to say about the organs or the parts of the lymphatic system. And finally you can conclude it with the disease conditions which are related to the lymphatic system. So that you will be having a enough point uh, to cover. Okay. And the last part will be that tonsil and adenoids. These are the structures trap pathogens from the food you eat and the air you take in they are the part of your body first line of defense against invaders tonsils are in the back of your throat and adenoids are just behind the nasal cavity but are only active during the childhood period so that's all about tonsil and adenoids which you can say I have given only, I have collected only very simple points for this 
system so that it will be easy for you to understand as well as recollect okay and finally as i said we are moving to the condition and disorder so the condition and disorder includes first one is swollen lymph nodes that is called as lymphadenopathy and second one is swelling of accumulation of fluid that is lymphedema third one is cancers of the lymphatic system fourth one is lymphoma lymphoma is a cancer of lymph node that occur when lymphocytes grow and multiply uncontrollably there are several types of lymphoma including hodgkin's lymphoma non hodgkin's lymphoma cancerous tumors are also blocking the lymphatic uh, duct or nearby lymph nodes and interfere with the flow of lymph throughout the node next come lymphangitis that is the inflammation of your lymph vessels next is lymphangioma and uh, finally uh, intestinal lymphangiectasia that is loss of lymph tissue in your small intestine leading to loss of protein next comes lymphocytosis that is a higher than the normal amount of lymphocytes in the body next is lymphatic filariasis that is a parasitic infection that causes lymphatic system to malfunction next is castleman disease that is involving the overgrowth of cells in the body next is lymphangioleomyomastosis that is a rare disease of muscle like cells begin to grow out of control in the lungs lymph nodes and kidneys next is autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome that is a rare genetic disorder in which there is high number of lymphocytes in your lymph nodes liver and spleen next is mesenteric lymphadenitis it is a inflammation of lymph nodes in the belly area that is the abdomen part <coughs> that's all about uh, the conditions thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and if you have any doubts please do put it as a comment so that we can uh, carry forward in the next video thank you so much if you find it useful please do share it with your friends also wish you all the best for your interview take care